Milking a Cow Words and Pictures Created by Scott Kelly What can I do when there's work on the farm? At five in the morn, there's a rooster alarm? There's work to be done. No breakfast until the cow has been milked and my dog's had his fill. I head to the barn with a pail in my hand. I need some fresh milk or my cornflakes taste bland. I look at the cow and she looks at me too. I say, I need milk. She responds with a moo. Don't you moo back at me, lest I moo at you too. The cow's eyes were puzzled. What could a cow do? Don't moo for a cow was a hard thing to do. So I sealed her lips shut with some paste and some glue. That will keep you from mooing. Or so I had thought. But her cow lips were strong and her mouth was too hot. The glue, it had seemed, had not done the trick. Her mooing got worse and it made me quite sick. Louder and louder, it rang through my brain, excessively mooing, driving me more insane. I angrily stared, hoping she'd get the hint. But she mooed even louder, while my nerves have been spent. I said to the cow, as calm as could be, Please, stop for a moment, two minutes or three. I need some fresh milk with my breakfast to drink. She looked at me deep as if starting to think. Things got still, so I put that old pail on the ground. I knelt down beside her, then looked all around. I reached out my hands and started to squeeze. The cow didn't like it and kicked both my knees. I fell to the ground, my head and my pail. If farming were graded, I'm sure that I'd fail. I stumbled and cried, for that's all I could do. I cried in the barn while that cow cried out moo. So no milk in my pail, and my dog has no food. I'm sure I'd be done if that cow weren't so rude. Well, I sold that old cow, took the pail off my head, bought some milk from the store, then I went back to bed. If you enjoyed this page, please like and subscribe to this channel. Comments are welcome, and new videos post every week.